था What's up YouTube, this is Chris with the model we trust 360 and I recently released a tutorial on how to change your start orb and if you don't know what that is, that's this button down here for Windows 7. Um, so I had a lot of requests, I mentioned that video you could create your own, so I actually created this template for you guys. Um, it's easily, easily customiz customized um, to whatever you really want it to be. So you're going to need Adobe Photoshop for this, this is a PSD file. Um, if you don't have Photoshop, make sure you get it. Um, I'm not saying get it illegally, but if you're into that kind of stuff, go right ahead. Um, so, basically what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to do something really basic. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab this image of this Xbox button. It's blue, so I'm going to cut it out of this canvas. I'm going to paste it into this canvas, and I'm going to go ahead and transform that, bring it down to size. That way it actually fits into our um, layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this up to the top. Uh -huh, let me finish resizing this as well as I can then I'll drag it up to the top maybe like that and that looks decent so I'm going to apply that I'm going to drag it up to the top that way we can actually see it above our uh, white circle so there we go we have our first button there okay so now we got that one in there we're going to go ahead and copy this layer just click it and drag it under there and we're going to drag it that down into this circle now for this circle we're going to change this up a little bit because this up here on the very top is what the appearance is when it's just down there. So it's like that. And as you can see when we hover it, it kind of lights up. So on this second one, we're going to double click on the effects. Click outer glow. And we're going to choose a blue. And maybe a little lighter blue. Maybe a light blue. Like that. And click OK. And I'm just going to bring up spread and the size just a little bit. And click OK. And then for the last one, I'm just going to go ahead and copy that layer again and drag it down. Use my arrow keys to kind of get it in there. And hmm, I don't know really what we're going to do for this one. Um, let's maybe do stroke. No, I don't want to do stroke. Do bevel and emboss, contour. Maybe bring the size down to about one. I really don't really know what we could do with this, actually. Maybe take that off, and then I'll just do stroke, kind of as an example. Uh, for my p personal opinion, I wouldn't use it because I'm a little more picky when it comes to stuff that I create. So I'm just going to go ahead and change that to two, and click OK. So now that we've got our bitmap file here. We've got our actual buttons created. We're going to go ahead and click File and click Save As. Now you need to make sure you save this as bitmap, which is BMP, which is the third one down from the top. I want to name this as Test and go ahead and click save and make sure this is set to windows and this is set to 32 bit and go ahead and click ok so now you have it saved so let's go to our desktop and we have it here so click preview here and as you can see wait for it to load up sometimes when you preview it like I just did now it'll open up in Photoshop but as you can see we have our BMP file created and ready to go so I'm going to minimize that and now from the last previous tutorial if you haven't checked that out make sure you check that out on how to change your orb but if you already know how to do that, then just continue with this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and actually find it. I'm just thinking it's under Documents. Yes, there it is. So I'm going to double click it and click Run. And this is how you're going to change it. Instead of choosing something that we download, we just choose the one that we created. So click this button here. Go to Desktop. And select the BMP image. So click Open. This should disappear. And in the bottom, as you can see, we have our custom thing. So when we highlight it, it glows up around the edges. As you can see, when you click it, it has the stroke around the edges. So that's how to create your own custom buttons for your Windows 7. Um, also, if you don't like it, you make some changes to it, just click the folder, and it'll back it up, just like in my previous tutorial. So guys, this was a fairly quick tutorial. I'm actually busy with some of my college work. I signed up for financial aid today. I'm not getting too much financial aid because I already make enough money, as it is. So I'm actually getting into a whole bunch of college stuff for next semester. And I'm going to be pretty busy, so if I don't come out with tutorials or videos, sorry for that, but just bear with me, and I'll be back making tutorials for you guys very soon. So guys, again, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe to this video. Not subscribe to the video, what the fuck am I talking about? No, subscribe me, comment, like, 
in favor of this video. There we go. So, yep, talk to you guys later.